Texas A&M University is one of the unique universities in higher ed landscape. It's known for developing great characters who go out and make a change in the state, world, and the nation. It is a part of the Association of American Universities and ranked consistently as one of the finest universities throughout Texas. In 2018, as Texas A&M University was developing the Department of Psychiatry and Behavioral Sciences, they successfully recruited Dr. Israel Librazon as a professor in the department as well as the founder head of the department. The department continues to enhance the development of innovative training programs, research collaborations, and the expansion of clinical services to support the department's mission of patient care, education, and research. All three missions are highly integrated and important for each other. We have a very active fMRI research program. This is one of the ways to visualize and understand the specific brain circuits that are involved in mental phenomena. More importantly, the function of those circuits can be altered or abnormal in particular psychiatric disorders. Based on this data, we can actually move forward with looking for a new intervention strategies, alternative approaches, utilizing other brain circuits if necessary, and so on. The telebehavioral care program works very hard to serve those who typically don't have access to care. So rural and underserved populations, the uninsured, we have provided over $3 million in free services to over 3,000 people. And because we're telehealth, people aren't having to travel. So over a million miles saved, a million minutes saved. Kids are able to stay in their schools. Um, people are able to stay at work or at home where they may have caregiving responsibilities and still get the mental health care that they need. My laboratory studies post-traumatic stress disorder. What a lot of people don't know about PTSD is that it has a major impact on the immune system. Patients with PTSD have really high uh, levels of inflammation. So the real question that we are still yet to answer is how does a psychological trauma or a mental health disorder directly impact the immune system? In the field of psychiatry right now, diagnoses are made purely on patient history. But in every other field of medicine, we have diagnostic tests. And we'd really like to bring that into the field of psychiatry. We also hope that by figuring out how these biological factors of mental health play a role in the disease, that we can actually use them as targets for therapy. And maybe we can even bring a new class of drugs that potentially target the immune system or other organ systems that then overall help mental health. I think our psychiatry residency is unique in several ways. We have a relatively rural catchment, and so our, re our residents are exposed to populations from rural areas. When I was deciding um, on residency programs, I knew that at this stage I wanted to have more of a small town life experience. And then professionally, I was interested in working with military populations, um, students in mental health, along with underserved minority populations. And so I knew that Texas A&M just seemed like a good fit combining the life I wanted outside of residency along with my professional goals. Our residents train with diverse patient populations, including at the Carl R. Darnall Army Medical Center Active Duty Military, which is unique for a civilian residency. From the moment I walked into Darnell, I immediately felt taken in as one of their own residents. The Darnell residency is so heavily psychotherapy focused, while other residencies who are working with bipolar mania or the other serious mental illnesses, a lot of that's going to be psychopharmacology. The Darnell residency, the emphasis is on solution-focused therapy. I think it's one of the big reasons why a lot of us chose psychiatry in the first place. When the war started, we uh, felt moral obligation to extend a helping hand to Ukrainian people. I am Ukrainian and our project PI, Dr. Liberzan, he was born in Ukraine as well. The Ukrainian government understood that mental health system in Ukraine is not effective. Therefore, we came up with this project and it was funded by NIH. The main goal of the project is to uh, 
teach Ukrainian uh, psychologists and psychiatrists to provide evidence-based care to Ukrainian people traumatized by war. Our team will go to Ukraine multiple times uh, during this five years project. Uh, in addition to that, we are going to uh, bring smaller a cohort of Ukrainian people to Houston. We want to show them how trauma care treatment work here in the United States so they can come back to their country and uh, build the same system and replicate our experience. Within this concept of growing our clinical care, we see ourselves as a leaders in providing the most advanced evidence-based care in Texas, in the United States, but also anywhere else in the world.